Hello everyone, Nordic Beast here. I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened in the, in the War Thunder community recently. So there's a War Thunder content creator named Two and Nine Hundred. I guess his real name is Bart. And as of yesterday, he took his own life. Uh, his brother posted a, a video about it. And, uh, <laughs> I guess it's, it's hitting me pretty hard. Uh, I know that sounds weird. I, I didn't know him. I was not part of his squadron, which is 2A900 here on War Thunder. Uh, I wasn't on his Discord. Uh, my story with him is from about a year ago. Uh, before Amelia could walk. And I'm an at-home dad, and uh, I'm pretty much just holding a baby all the time. And there wasn't much I could do, so I was watching quite a bit of YouTube. And, of course, I'm watching all the stuff on War Thunder, and I stumbled upon his series that he primarily did, which is War Thunder News. And I could not believe the amount of information that was coming through his page. And I've pretty much watched everything he's put out since. Now, yesterday, uh, I woke up around about four in the morning, which is funny. It's about four in the morning now. But uh, I wake up about four in the morning, and I couldn't fall back asleep. So I come out in the living room, and I'm going through my phone, and I see two and nine hundreds got a video that says my last video, and if you listen to it, uh, you can hear the shakiness in his voice. And uh, he talks about, you know, he's going to quit YouTube. And, you know, he's done with YouTube. Feels like uh, people don't appreciate the amount of effort he puts into videos. And uh, which I can empathize with. And um, he, he needs to get his life together. And the more and more he goes into the video, the more and more shaken up he sounds. And uh, it's only about two minutes of him talking, and then it's like another six minutes of gameplay. And when I saw this, like, the first thing I thought is like, oh man, I, you know, like, uh, I just came back into YouTube recently, and I, <laughs> I'm i an itty bitty channel. And uh, I, I mean, I used to get, you know, maybe a few hundred views at most. I'm not even getting 50 views per video now, but I'm just doing it for fun. I'm not. I'm not uh, doing this as like a career. This is just because I, I like to show the things I do. I make the videos I enjoy. Um, but even I understand, like, phew, if you do any kind of editing, this is time consuming, you know? And uh, so recently, uh, 2 and 900 had put out uh, two videos that I really enjoyed, by the way. One was Japanese heavy tanks, which is two concepts you normally don't put together. And then the second one was how to implement those into War Thunder, which I thought was fantastic. He did a great job on those, and I was looking forward to seeing him do more of these in the future. Now, when he does his War Thunder news, a lot of time he'll talk about a vehicle, and he's like, I don't know much history on this. And the thing is, is he, especially according to his brother, he was a big history buff. Um, he was pretty well versed on a lot of stuff so I thought that was pretty modest to him to be like yeah I don't I don't know much about this vehicle and then to go and make Japanese heavy tank video I mean the amount of research he had to have put into that time I recently about a month ago did five aircraft I'd like to see in War Thunder I had to do research on all five of those planes and the thing is I knew quite a bit about them already but I really wanted to to nail it and I then had to write a script, which I rarely write scripts. I usually ramble on. And that, that takes a lot of time. And then trying to do actual recording, you know, any number of things can happen. You might mispronounce something and have to re-record. You might have just not liked the way it sounded. Or maybe there was a sound or thump or bang in the background. You know, any number of things could be wrong. So I understand YouTube can be very, very frustrating, uh, especially if you're trying to do it as a career. Uh, 
no, I think there's more to it. Um, two and nine hundreds brother in the video he posted talked about how he himself uh, is bipolar, and so there could have been more underlying issues there than what we know about. But honestly, it's not really any of our business. Uh, it's just it's a tragedy and a loss, and I'm really gonna miss watching his videos. Um, tonight I fell asleep around 10 o'clock and I woke up about 12.30 still thinking about it. I've been awake since. I <laughs> I just find it amazing that, you know, this man I barely knew, I mean, I only knew him through his videos uh, about some random game it struck me so hard. It's it's heartbreaking. So, if you guys haven't seen his videos, I would definitely suggest going back and watching him. Uh, a lot of it's just news, but he has a bunch of streams on there. He also talks about um, individual vehicles and, you know, just the general content creator for War Thunder. Um, definitely watch his videos on the Japanese heavy tanks. So... Well, thanks for uh, thanks for listening to me ramble, and uh, my deepest condolences to his brother and to his mother and father. And I'll see you guys in the next one.